It's beautiful. In 10 seconds, I think it's gorgeous. Thanks for having me. Great. <laughs>
Yes, it was the decade of Dark Souls and the Dark Souls of decades. It totally permeated the collective gamer unconscious. It just couldn't be ignored. Imagine a wasp doing that thing wasps love to do where they fly at your face over and over again, except that wasp is screaming with the voice of a fully grown human man. In your own words, uh, what is a hedgehog? Polygon.com video content. Pardon? Sorry? Pardon? I'm sorry, what sorry. was that? Oh, oh, my God. Yeah. Give, me, give, me, give me a reread. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> that is struggling <laughs> so hard. <laughs> Did you know that the first Souls game wasn't Dark Souls, but 2009's Demon Souls? Dark Souls people know this, and they love telling non-Dark Souls people. It's of Demon Souls, which was actually the first Souls game. How old are you? 12? Uh, 31. You're 31? Thir no, I'm 32. Wow, good job. Yeah, Jeez, you. Was it just your birthday right now? No. Yeah, just, just right then, yeah. <laughs> Gamers. And every single person you meet sounding like they've had a handful of zannies. <laughs> um... Oh that's what you get for posting. Infested with blood-soaked, twisted, disgusting abominations of the flesh. And I'm just gonna say what we're all thinking. From Software should make a puppet show for, for kids. And he's using just 18 inches of his body, and I'm talking about his arm. <laughs> the way my brain works, like, somebody saying that to me, like, that's not normal. For, for me, that's like, oh God, what did I do? Yeah. What is anyone... a normal greeting for you fucking nerd? <laughs> anyone, yes. anyone... When you have social anxiety, yeah, any greeting yeah. is a weird greeting. Anytime Anna dresses his hat, he has a panic attack anyway. It doesn't no matter what they say. A normal they... greeting for me is, hello, I'm not mad at you for anything you've ever said or done. <laughs> if you, if you had said, a nice day. Uh, if you said, milady, then it would have been way normal for it's Pat. Sure. Been like, oh, <laughs> a swamp full of poison, <laughs> follow. Can I be honest? Yeah. And I can't believe I'm gonna say this on camera because I'm embarrassed. I think it's you. I think you're my, I think you're my villain. I'm, I'm you, but worse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and who would want to see a smooth animal? Perverts. Sorry. Doug Jones looking ass, pipe cleaner limbs. And stamina management. Except in Sekiro where your protagonist is all hopped up on Demerol and Baja Blast buying candles without ever getting anxiety. It's the sci-fi horror equivalent of the moment you hit play on your totally normal work playlist, then realize your headphones aren't plugged in, and then you accidentally misclick and start an also very normal YouTube video, then miss the mute button and hit the louder button. Yes. That ever happened to you? Oh, good hunter. You've discovered my secret segment. Patrick's blood buds. While we're comparing things to Dark Souls, let's talk about one of the greatest cultural impacts of Dark Souls. Comparing things to Dark Souls. Getting mad about the misapplication of the Dark Souls descriptor. Getting mad about getting mad about the misapplication of the Dark Souls descriptor. Getting mad about getting mad about getting mad about the misapplication of the Dark Souls descriptor. Getting mad about getting mad about getting mad about getting mad about the misapplication of the. So anybody can jam their hand into a puppet and flap it around. But only a master can make me fall deeply, deeply in love with that puppet. Dark Souls, on the other hand, teaches players to survive the way my father taught me how to mow the lawn. That is, by looking at me and saying, Patrick, go mow the lawn. And to the furtive millennial, the fear of venturing out into an uncertain, hostile world fucking up, losing all of your money, and moving back home was hashtag relatable. Souls games would replace GPS systems with another system, where if you go the wrong way, you get killed by 100 skeletons. Let's say you're watching The Muppet Show, but you can't hear it because you're also listening to some royalty-free thrash metal at maximum volume. Tell me this big swordsman is not a dark soul. Much like using the toilet or performing nostril hair maintenance, which is wrong. But I think he was probably just being an asshole. And then I realized I was the one who was wrong. Hypothetically, something were to happen during their annual Jim Henson Memorial Wilderness Retreat and Muppet Orgy. In the case of that tragic but inevitable event, somebody needs to be ready to step up. And that is everything that we 
could, could do today. There's the sewer men, who are men who lay in the sewers all day, big mood. Uh, <laughs> there's a dog that has a bunch of knives and swords stuck through it. There's the orphan of cause, who comes out of his uh, mom's placenta and then uses the placenta as a sword.